Prototyping can be fun. It can be frustrating. It, 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 it's a whole, whole mix of things all, all thrown into one. Um, so the design school and, and the whole design space has all sorts of things you can use to prototype. I think we used a lot of whiteboard space. They, they allocated one whiteboard for every group at the beginning of the course, and I think by week three we had commandeered about five or six, <laughs> much to the chagrin of some of the other groups. Um, but that was, the uh, first step was really sitting together as a group, getting ideas out, illustrated, you know, on big whiteboards. Maybe we'll have a graph for this thing. What, what would the display look like? What, we, there was one activity we did where we mocked up a young person's room um, to try to flesh out, you know, what, what a young person's day might be like and can we integrate this iThrive uh, seamlessly into one part of the day. Um, so those were things that were done within the room, rather low resolution, low fidelity. Um, and we, one of the key parts of the prototyping process is trying to come up with something that you can use to convey an idea to your potential users. Um, so we used what techniques we could on the low resolution side to try to help um, the patients we were speaking to understand what we were thinking about and get a sense if that was gonna work for them. When it got to the higher resolution phase, uh, we tapped our classmates as resources to help us with that. Um, and we created this system that uh, allowed classmates to track their sleep over the course of a week or two weeks. And then we also asked them about their energy levels during the day. Um, and that was really interesting. So essentially we had an online form that some people could fill out. We, had, we found an email program that would automatically send out text messages and it would shoot us all this data back. Um, and then the data would go into a black box uh, and come out at the end of the weekend uh, as, as nice charts and nice summaries of sleep. Um, I was the black box. A lot of the calculations happened at two or three in the morning. It was ironic that I was doing this like sleep tracking program, but losing a lot of sleep myself in order <laughs> to get it out. Um, but that, that was kind of the higher resolution prototype that we were doing, where we actually were getting user data in from classmates, trying to figure out what types of input um, are most amenable pe to people? What types of output do they want? Um, are some people going to get really frustrated by this? Do some people just like really enjoy the process? And then at the end, what we wanted to know was, does this information actually encourage you to get more sleep? Um, so we were able to test that over the period of a week or two as well.